Well, the partial government shutdown now entering day 31. President Trump and congressional Democrats pushing separate plans to reopen the government. Meanwhile, hundreds of thousands of federal employees still waiting to get paid. Here's ABC's Lana Zak with more from Washington. We are now in week five of the partial government shutdown, and the TSA says we are entering uncharted territory. Yesterday, one out of every 10 TSA workers called out. Those that remain on the job say the financial situation is unsustainable. For my position, my wife also is a transportation security officer, so we have lost both our incomes. At some airports, like this one in Chattanooga, pop-up food banks are supporting federal employees that are working with no paycheck in sight. Over the weekend, President Trump offered a three-year extension of protections for some undocumented immigrants, including Dreamers, and in exchange... The plan includes $5.7 billion for a strategic deployment of physical barriers or a wall. This is not a 2,000 mile concrete structure from sea to sea. These are steel barriers in high priority locations. But Democrats say the president is just re-offering something that has already been rejected. Offering some of those protections that he took away back in exchange for the wall is not a compromise but hostage taking. When Congress returns to work tomorrow, Democrats are considering a plan to counter propose a billion dollars for border security, half for infrastructure, but nothing for a wall. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says he will bring the president's proposal to a vote on the floor. Meanwhile, House Democrats are looking to vote on another proposal to try and bring financial relief to the 800,000 federal employees who are currently not receiving a paycheck. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington.